Hello friends, <clears throat> Mr. Delmar here getting ready to <clears throat> uh, talk to you about your DGP for this week. Um, this is for fourth period, English three, right? You remember the drill, go through it one day at a time, pause the video after each one. Unfortunately, um, the only copy of this I could find already had a lot of stuff identified for you, so that'll make things really easy. Um, what we have here is an article for Monday. Southside Baptist Church is a proper noun. Sponsored is an action verb. A is an article. Festival is a noun. <clears throat> my is what? What is that? You got that? What is my? First person, possessive, <clears throat> pronoun. I was thinking mother, adjective describing mother, but no. Uh, first person, possessive, pronoun. Mother is a noun. Bought, action, verb, past tense again. Some French pastries. You have adjectives here and uh, a noun here. Actually, French should be uh, popular, uh, proper <clears throat> adjectives, we're going to capitalize that. And there, what is that? There tells you um, where the action happened, so that's an adverb, right? Where was it bought? It was bought there. <clears throat> okay, pause the video, but think. Um, first, you understand the subject of this is Southside Baptist Church, that's your subject. What's the verb? Sponsored. Sponsored what? Uh, um, festival. So there's your direct object. My mother did what? Bought, bought what? Bought French pastries. So we also have a direct object here. And that's pretty much it for that. All right. Wednesday. The Southside Baptist Church sponsored a festival. And my mother bought some French pastries there. Both of these are independent clauses. Right? And so that makes a compound sentence. Um, how are we going to join these two sentences together? Because there is no um, coordinating conjunction or uh, any, so any conjunctions at all. all. Right? So what are we going to do here for Thursday? Capitalize this, 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 and this. The Southside Baptist Church sponsored a festival, and we're going to go with semicolon here, I think, and because we can leave this uncapitalized. I could have put a period there and just made two sentences together, but they share a common subject, so a semicolon makes sense. My mother bought some French pastries there. Right? Okay. And let me scroll up so we can see the diagram. So, um, you know you have two independent clauses here. The Southside Baptist Church sponsored what? A festival and my mother bought bought what bought it where there bought some French pastry Okay, and the way we just show this is we uh, 
put these together like that and just put our semicolon right there to show that that's how we join those two sentences. Okay? All right. Um, be sure to, um, I shared the PowerPoint with you with the uh, vocabulary words on there. Um, not sure that I'll make a video with those uh, going through the words. I'll try to, but if not, just use the PowerPoint to add list four words to your notes. Okay, and we'll have a test not this Friday, but the next Friday. Uh, people did really good on um, this Friday's, this past Friday's list three quiz. So good job. All right, keep up the good work, folks. Let me know how I can help you.